My name is Dana Gain, and today we're talking about March 2022 real estate results. Well, as anyone trying to buy a home in January of this year remembers, 2022 started off a bit chaotic. New properties coming on the market had slowed to a crawl. Competition was at its fiercest. Buyers would line up for offer day to bid on one of few homes available. And all but a single home buyer walked away with the prize. By the end of January, it appeared home sellers everywhere had received the memo simultaneously. You don't need to wait until spring to sell your house. Listings suddenly came on the market seemingly out of nowhere. By March, this trend was in full swing. For our clients receiving daily new listings to their inbox, a mere handful of properties was becoming more of a directory. Many more options were coming available and some home sellers even began selecting a listing price that more accurately reflected market value. We haven't seen that since the spring of 2020. So what's going on out there? Let's take a look at what happened in March across the GTA and what the implications might be for the rest of the year. One of the most common questions we hear is, is pricing going down? The short answer is probably not. However, what is likely to happen is that pricing will not continue to escalate at the pace that it has been for the past two years. In the short term, we're bound to see some pricing fluctuations as we see more homes come on the market. It's likely we will also see a slight cooling in buyer demand as interest rates climb. First time buyers and those close to their budget thresholds may step back from the market, if only temporarily. However, it's also important to remember that we expect record levels of immigration this year. This will impact housing demand because these people will all need somewhere to live. So what does all this mean? First, we can expect to see continued pricing fluctuations in the market as demand and supply ebb and flow. This is normal and expected. Detached homes will move at their own pace depending on the demand and other market segments such as semi, detached and condo apartments will show increases or decreases based on the demand for that area. Make no mistake though, Moving toward a more balanced market is good news for both buyers and sellers. There will be less stress on home buyers as they find they've got more time to decide on the home they want and of course the price they want to pay. Home sellers will continue to do well because the housing shortage has not gone away. As it stands, demand continues to exceed supply and that will continue to move pricing in a positive direction. What we may see, however, is a movement toward more rational listing prices. It's already started in some areas as home sellers decide to forego the option of holding an offer date and price their home at close to market value. This is a relief for most home buyers. As a result, those home buyers will need to continue being diligent in their research because some sellers will be pricing it low and others will be pricing it at market value. It may become difficult to distinguish which one applies for the home you're interested in. You can get some help by finding a realtor who can help you understand the potential sale price for the home you're interested in. Be sure you know what the expected market value is and ensure your real estate professional shows you data to back up their recommendations. If you're shopping for a home and you haven't found the right realtor just yet, get in touch with me today. I can help you navigate the ever-changing real estate landscape and hopefully reduce your stress in the process. Remember, shopping for a home is supposed to be fun. My name is Dana Gain and I'm here for all your real estate needs. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here today, send your email to info at danagain.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.